Okay, guys, I'm gonna do a video where I'm gonna show you basically how you crash Windows 10, uh, Windows 2020 May update. You just crash it installing a software. So now, just a little back back uh, log on what happened. Basically, I discovered this bug uh, six months ago, and I reporting uh, reported in the feedback feedback app for. I don't know, six, seven months, and no one at Microsoft have never give uh, to me any response, I say any response. So this is the point where today they, sh they send to to, uh, to all the MSDN developer the last version of Windows, the 2020 update of Windows, and yet the bug is not fixed, and in this video I want to show you on a virtual machine, but it does change absolutely nothing. It can happen on a virtual machine, it can be on any computer. How you can crush Windows 10 just by installing an application. That sounds interesting. So here on my computer, I have, I have downloaded the last uh, uh, image of Windows 10. In this case, Windows 10 1941, the last uh, slurring build. Uh, now this, this should also have sending the, um, the May Let's see. Uh, I don't know. They say that they so it's 2014, 2018. So in the one I downloaded it just to to make sure. Uh, I guess I need to open it. So, okay. So they sh they say that they really done it. So I don't know if I can download it. So I'm gonna show you. So this is made is today. By the way, so um, basically, I'm just going to install. So I create a virtual machine here, and I'm going to just uh, insert uh, a DVD, and we roll on. And I'm going to install you in this video. Maybe I'm going to add some music and uh, something to bypass the installation stages. So, so I will, but I want to. I just want to be be able to I already done this before to verify that it was open up I, I wish that they solved the issues but they don't and so I'm arriving at the point of making a video on YouTube maybe that gonna move uh, some up of Microsoft because this is gonna be hit gonna be it very hard the market winners because uh, and I'm gonna not have an application key of course because I'm just installing this for test I'm gonna install I don't know people working with CAD tool and this again, this problem is relating to CAD tool and how the CAD tool verify the license. I'm going to install it on uh, workstation. For this case, I don't know any version would be the same. And we just do the installation. So now I'm doing this on my uh, on a small okay smaller disk. And I'm doing this on my main SSD in order to get the installation more fast. I installed it on another disk previously, but of course it's too slow. I don't uh, wanna spending one hour and a half doing that. So maybe that the SSD is uh, uh, more fast. So in the meantime, I wanna see what um, what I report in, so I should be able to access the feedback. Feedback. So I'm gonna just show you to you what I reporting in uh, a, a lot. Let's see my feedback. I'm gonna go to feedback. My feedback, and I report in this a couple of times, and I got no response back from Microsoft. Okay. Zero response, and uh, at this point uh, I give up. Like this is my comments, okay. And we will see that we're gonna get exactly this error. So, just more story about this error. Uh, if you don't, uh, if you, if you, if you have the software installed in your older version of Windows, so for example in the previous uh, version of Windows, the, this one, this, this uh, 19, uh, uh, this branch of Windows. That is uh, 1809, is the previous version. Then you can install your software and everything is fine. At the moment you try to update it, Windows, well, during the installation you get, you, you got a, a, a BSOT, in this case a GSOT, because I am an insider. And again, there is a, we will see it, there is a, a bug, you got, we're going to get a patch file in no page area due to a given uh, uh, driver, but the big thing is that the driver is not problem because if you compare the two driver if you do a binary compare between the two driver the driver are exactly the same driver they send and they say they 
they had been signed in exactly the same day. So the driver didn't change. They introduced it a bug in Windows. They had they had her introduce a bug in Windows or they saw the bug in Windows that caused a visa. So this could be the two side of the story. Um, so again I reporting this uh, eight months ago. This happened in the first time it happened in build 18, 1898. I got this problem during the installation. Well a solution uh, I think I reported here you you just change in one registry registry key in your uh, in your uh, in your system to disable this lichen server and you install fine the problem is that as soon as you do that then you cannot use no more the authentication of the, of the given cat tools to be able to have a valid license so it's not basically you can do nothing so uh, again this is a uh, Happening eight months ago, I found a solution. Then I reporting one month ago because I still have the issues. So I say, look, I still have the issues. Let's record that. Nothing changed. Well, then eventually in my computer on my laptop, if I have a Windows Insider in the release uh, uh, ring, mail date come up. I have to install it. Try to install it. Just get the same bug, the same bizot. We no problem. Reporting back to Microsoft. Reporting on another feedback. Still are thinking 208. Uh, writing in this one. Update it. Ah oh, no, this is sorry. This is another bug I had. That is something that Windows uh, fuck up with my file. Then I have to install Windows because I got some permission problem. Again, reporting this GST. We will see that the software we will try to install is GST. That is uh, uh, a software used for uh, simulating antenna. Okay, fail. So at this point, I give up. Basically, I give up on Microsoft. Windows feedback is a joke. They don't care. This is their solution, and this is the conclusion I arrived. And now I'm going to show you, in maybe the next videos, I'm going to do three videos, how you crash Windows 10 by installing a software. It's fine. Oh no, no, we are almost done. Okay, then I'm gonna. Um, I don't know how much we're going to take because I needed to transfer the software from my USB driver into this main computer. So I don't know how much it's going to take. And this is very slower, very more quickly respect of what I get. So we maybe, uh, uh, because I don't want to make any cut, because then, okay, people say, look, you've modified something to cut, you make this to crush. No, it's not, it's not like that. It's that exactly that you can crush Windows 10 by just installing a software. This is a, the quality of software we arrive in 2020. Where well, you can just install one software and you can take it down an entire operating system. You know, quality. So how much space this consume? Uh, this is nine gigabytes, okay. Because I'm installing this uh, in my local SSD because I try, okay, yeah, let's install by English. We will never use the keyboard, but I'm gonna just use the Italian uh, keyboard because I have an Italian keyboard, and it's just because otherwise, uh, where are we talking this? Uh, okay, and then we're gonna create a local account. I don't, I don't bother spending time uh, with uploading and anything. We're gonna check for an update. If there is update, we install the update and everything. So and oh, maybe we do the following. We we try to install it. They are ending. We we then uh, try. I'm gonna show you that uh, uh, we're gonna get a bizod. Then we try to see if there is an update. Well, if there is an update, they fix it. But I'm sure there is not an update. Uh, personal use. I'm sure I'm gonna do an offline account. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get a limited experience. I'm gonna call bizod or gizod. Any right? Let's call zero. Day, so, so we didn't have so zero day basement. Fantastic. Next. Oh, don't push any push. Okay. Uh, well, we, we gave him Microsoft information. Uh, nope. Uh, not now.
Okay, I'm gonna move this on my other desktop. In the meantime, <laughs> and we we again to return to discuss. So get them back. Try to report in them. They give no response. So at some point I say I give up. But I give up and I hope. And I begin to post on Twitter. Okay. I begin to post in this bug on Twitter because I realize that this is gonna hit the market a lot. They're gonna have a lot of customer that try to install the software and they can't install the software. They can't install the update because again they crash. They, they do a piece of while updating Windows. Maybe, maybe I will do another va video somehow on my laptop when I show that if I install it, if I'm installing the last update of Windows 19041, I don't know the build number, the last build number possible that I got a piece of. So uh, we're just 10 minutes me speaking. Okay. So then I say, look, I wish they fix it. Maybe if I tweet in, if I do some Twitter, if I do some tweet and I always tweet on Microsoft Windows Insider, Windows, maybe someone gonna answer me. Well, for now, no. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna for a moment disable my display if I can. Okay, just a moment I can pick my software because I don't know if I have something confidential on my USB keyboard. So, I don't know. Let's open this one. Okay. Okay. Let me get me back, my thing. Still on the other desktop, so I did nothing. Give my best back. I have a keyboard, so I need to copy and paste it. Copy. Or no, no, sorry, ah, no, I can't do it, I need to, okay, to do I need to reopen this, and this is going to tell me to connect this way, okay, I'm going to connect using the, uh, remember, I prefer to be able to copy and paste, you need to, you need to be able to, so I'm going to copy this file, I don't know how I'm going to take it, it's going to take a, a, quite a little bit of time. So, 11 minutes. Uh, so I can speak with another 11 minutes because the story is getting more interesting. Okay. So, um, then I say, look, what happens if I report in this on Microsoft? Well, I say, look, maybe if I report in this on Microsoft, well, maybe I'm going to open Twitter and I'll show you what I did. Okay. So I don't know if in Twitter there is a way to see which thing you do, but I think maybe it's not. Uh, okay, I'm gonna show you the following. Uh, okay. Count. Can I show my the tweet I did? Somehow. S. I don't know, I have my nickname. Okay, well, this shouldn't be a problem. Well, so I'm gonna try to show you what I did. Let's see if I can show you what, what I did. Okay, around here. Around here. I think I had like eight months ago, so we have to be March around. Okay, sorry. Sorry, it's longer because it was my tweet. I need to show you where I speak. So they knew about this bag, by the way. They knew about this bag because the story is the following. I got these issues. As I say, look, what I did when I got the issues, I tried to, to send a tweet. So I contacted one of the um, people that uh, managed the Windows account, the 
you do something about flattening or something like that. And I said on Twitter on, on one of the things. And I get this response. Okay, so this is from Microsoft, remember. So I'm gonna show you just open the thing. I send this Twitter. Okay, we're back in 6 December 2019. So it's after the thing because uh, say look, I get to that get me a method reported by a lot of people. We don't know when they're able to install it, anything. And Brandon LeBlanc is one of the people leading the Windows Insider program. Answer me and say, this appears to be an issue with the DRM protection. Okay. Similar, so, and they had an issue with gaming. Okay, first, you have submitted feedback on this, right? Okay, I say, look, yes, I did. I did. I did. And I got no back response from that. Then I, I uh, make more, another tweet. I still get no response back. So we got only six minutes left to talk to me, and then we can start. And, and I'm gonna let you show how you how you build a clean install of Windows 10. That is a fantastic, a fantastic, I say, a fantastic method of publish publish your product that you need to ship to the market in a couple of weeks because you send today with the developer today. They're gonna go in the slow ring, I guess next week, or even this week. And then they ship to the public into RTM. And then it's available to, to Computer Builder and all that people. Sorry, I have to drink a little bit of water. Okay, so we're just waiting for minutes and 30 seconds here yeah, on this thing for this thing to install. And uh, I don't know what to say more on this, but I think that this video, probably no one gonna watch it. But again, this is important because I wanna make this a testimony that someone in the world was knowing that Windows 10 be so when you install a software. Because in 2020, this thing is not acceptable. It's not acceptable because you you changing your your internal windows, but at least make possible to the people to not have to to not have to skip the update to be able to continue to use their tools because this is the the gravity of these uh, issues is that all the people gonna use CST that is a, that is the industry, one of the industry standard software to build in a, to build in and simulate antenna. In all of the other software that using that particular driver for for doing DRM, I'm gonna crash, and this is a big a big set of users gonna be affected by this bug, and I'm not joking. Microsoft is gonna have a, a nightmare, so I think it's better that they know what lie ahead with my videos. And also, this video will be important for people if they will not fix the bug. The bug for what people and for all of the uh, newspaper they're gonna write about Windows 10 may update cows medium PC to be so that installation then they know that someone was knowing and it was a fault of Microsoft that they don't give a fuck on feedback because this is also true for other tools there are people complaining about Visual Studio Visual Studio 2019 been horrible. People complain on it and they not answer. They complain they completely to add to to add not important functionality and not fixing what is important. So you know. So let me extract in this uh, file now and we're gonna let it to to extract and just gonna move on the other desktop but this is not really interesting. I don't, know, I don't know if I'm gonna be, but okay. I'm not modifying anything. Just to to, to make it to be sh to be sure that I'm not modifying anything. Okay. So and uh, the last past day, myself was uh, worried because Windows crashes, but at least it's easy to use. Then I had to spend one day on Linux, and it was the craziest day of my life. But that is another story, and I don't want to go into the details of that story. 
it's an amazing story that have the thing that was fall basically the solution of my story was that I was falling that it was wrong on the tutorial I was using for installing that uh, software basically the tutorial ever a bug the tutorial ever bug what you need to do is not what it was there so you see this is how you're wasting one uh, day of my life and this is uh, by the way for anyone interesting this is a car that uh, my my team at university had built and we built it last year and we wanted to uh, race in lot shall I come out just to do some publicity in the meantime we're waiting this I guess uh, not a lot of time before it runs. So, we are ready? Guys, are you ready to see a zero day episode? Uh, we have uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes of me speaking is good. Okay, it's done. Uh, okay. Okay. And I will also download, deleted it, because of... What? Why can I delete it? Oh, it's trash. Okay. Okay, here we are. Okay, I'm gonna open larger. So, this is a tool, I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna install, I'm gonna start by installing the thing you need it. Just some registered. Redistributable because you know software always built against the CRT, and so you always need to install it before running any product. And this is a CS G GST uh, student edition, apparently. No, Studio Suite, sorry, I always get it wrong. And I'm not an organization, I'm gonna install everything, everything installed, install it, run it. It's gonna tell me that if I want, I wanna do a complete installation, so I'm gonna say yes. This is gonna take a while. But we want to get a piece. Of it. It's just um, you, you thinking that I'm crazy, right? You thinking that this man is crazy? <laughs> no, I'm not crazy. I'm full. I'm completely. I'm completely like I don't know. I don't know what to say to Michael in this situation because uh, it's not that they didn't know. They know the bug. It's just they don't give. They don't care. So uh, how much is it? It's Thirty-five. So you can install this on a forty gigabyte. Hard disk. Yeah, it's a zero day visit. <laughs> We're gonna play the game of a zero day visit. And maybe on another tutorial, on another video, I don't know if I have time tomorrow to do it. Maybe we're gonna go deeper into this and try to connect a debugger to this machine and try to, to, to see what is the cause of this bug. So we can fix it ourselves. No, we can't fix it ourselves because we have no way of. We could, in theory, modify the the kernel executable to patches the issues, but the problem is we we don't we, we have no the ability to sign it. So yeah, basically, we can't. But at least we can give some help to Microsoft. We can wasting our time, our time that is important to fix bug that we shouldn't have to fix because this shouldn't ever be should have already been detected in the testing before even releasing the build because this is a severe bug now to be honest i only tried this with cst but cst using flex mgr use this driver from from a to, to do the rf basically so my preparation and my uh, thinking is that given the fact that the problem is not the software itself. it's not the software the software is fine the problem is just that given driver and the service they're using for authentication probably this bug affect also other CAD tools because a lot of CAD tools using this service for authentication and for digital uh, for the yeah, for the so we let in the time take a little bit time to install this 2018 uh, model stuff because in uh, in 2020 we have a program that has one million of files and executable that of course what is bad for our disk for SSD is exactly small right 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 up below the page boundary because then you need you are you are more you are slower in a small file uh, writing so having more executable is bad for SSD 
for the velocity, you, you are more fast moving big chunk of data because you, you stream your, your you have more, more velocity not having to, to data cell. Anyway, that is more on the other side, and I don't want to go into that. But if MATLAB was just a giant, a gigantic, a gigantic one gigabyte executable, then we already have installed it. Still, in instead we are here waiting for the stuff. We wait and we wonder. <sighs> Sorry, but it's getting late here. But again, I am waiting until today for this because uh, I said, look, maybe they fix it. Maybe they fix it. I knew they didn't fix it, but I say maybe they fix it. <laughs> So now this is what I downloaded, 2018, I think. It should be, because I downloaded before, so in there. Of course, win, win bear is nothing. Okay, because I say win bear. Win, win bear. Uh, 4184, so it's not the last one, it's not 204, but I guarantee, I guarantee you that happen also in, in, in the last one. So this is a downloaded uh, from a link, but. Uh, like I can go full screen. Well, maybe I can go full screen. No, I can't anymore. Uh, I'm gonna go full screen. Okay, so I can I can update this to the last one if I want. But we I probably thinking that I'm gonna still have a bug. So now we finish. So. We are ready, we are ready guys, we are ready for the moment you are waiting for. 20 minutes of video, 30 minutes of video, this is the time you need to install Windows. It's not bad, to be honest, 27 minutes. We will be wasting 10 minutes, so I think we are installing in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 12 minutes. Let's say 12 minutes being the time we take for install, from, from install Windows. Because then we take... Uh, about 12 minutes for copying the thing and okay we're ready we're ready we're ready you say look the installation is going everything going fine everything is going fine you say look what what, what is happening well you say that this piece of the installation going fine well it's what you say it's right but in reality we're gonna get this at the end of the installation. We're gonna hand it when this software try to, I don't know, doing whatever with the given the end services, but try to to make sure that he is he is a, a like say a valid software, so that the software is not altered or anything. This is where the bug happened. Maybe, uh, maybe I don't know, maybe I'm going to do some post-production on this video when I cut in 11 minutes of, of me waiting for the thing to copy, but, or, or this minutes. But I, I was I wanna just doing a video with no cut, because I don't want to be then uh, be criticized by people who say, look, you have to cut in, what, what you've done to your computer, you have to cut the video, you are, a, you are a fool man, I'm not a fool man. I'm someone that's been completely honest and I've tried everything that it, that I can do for having them to fix this bug. But as you may as you may have realized, they don't give a fuck about feedbacks. Maybe the better title of this video is Feedback is a joke, semicolon, Windows 10 Zero Day, Windows 10 20 04, Zero Day Beast. That is a good title for us. For a video. Okay, we're waiting. We, we, we are almost done, by the way. Yeah, it's, a, it's a big problem, CST. It's 10 gigabytes of stuff. Again, small files and all the things that is not good for SSD. But random, because random read is very slow on SSD. Slower, but not very slow. I mean, slower. But sequential reading are faster because. How the how the physical way an SSC is built because even in the cell, even in the, in the cell, in the sorry, in the flash cell, uh, in the north in the north cells, but also in the controller of the SSD, we need to do a lot of work for correcting the, the bad blocks, uh, 
moving stuff around anyway because sequential read are faster on SSD than uh, random matches. Oh, we are almost done, by the way. So, you say it's done. Well, wait a moment to install the Bissot. Well, sir, wait a moment, it is going to install the Legion server in the authentication tools. And this is the second time, as I said before, that I did this tonight. Basically, I want to try. Okay, I want to try to see if it happens. So, this is the, the, the ISO I download from the Windows uh, Insider page. I scroll down, I say slow, slow ring, the, the, the first build you get from slow ring, and now we can. Um, we have moments. Well, it did before, so. Yep, but uh, here we got it. You see, it is connect. Because it is connect, because it fucking be it. Take a look! Bissed! Page fault in the page period! AKSFRIGE.TSS So, at least now this time you write a, a, a dump, because my computer can... Okay, so, we do the installation, this is run, and now we write a dump. So, what I'm gonna do now is the follow. So, we're gonna update it, we're gonna uh, disinstall the software, updated Windows to the last version, last possible version, and we try again. So, so first thing we go into control panel, uh, and we go in small icons. We go to software because it's still installed. So I remove. Well, it didn't install it itself. Okay, it didn't install itself. So I'm gonna delete it, but install on the hard drive. So we have CSD. I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this folder. Okay, it's a big file. Then I'm gonna go in the meantime doing this. I'm gonna update Windows. Okay, so this never run Windows update. We, we, we run it. It is gonna update the last version of Windows on this computer. And then we're gonna rerun the installation. Okay, so last version apparently is uh, uh, this one. So, you show, you see it, you see it, we bissed the Windows just installing a software, fresh installation of Windows, we do absolutely nothing. And by the way, this also happened for, this is the CST 2020, this happened also for CST 2019, and I guess 2018. And I guess every, every uh, version of CST that using the given services for a and again, the driver that is the culprit of all this is this ATKSF fridge that is yes. And we're gonna do an experiment, TKS uh, fridge. Yes. I'm always getting it wrong, by the way, the name of that uh, figure always gets the wrong name. So the file is ATKS fridge. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring I'm gonna do a funny experiment. Okay, so I'm gonna this is the driver. What uh, main controller? Uh, I'm gonna skip this one. I'm gonna take the, the, the given driver. Okay, so, so there. Uh, so it's Windows. Uh, System 32 drivers and the drivers ATKS AKS a fridge. Ah, get it wrong. Okay, this is a driver. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna copy it on my desktop. Then I'm gonna open my Windows. So I'm gonna rename this this 
I'm gonna copy there, I'm gonna go into my RDS, I'm gonna go into Windows, I'm gonna go to System32, to Drivers. I'm gonna keep the same drivers, like EFS Fridge, like EFS Fridge, SS, I'm gonna copy paste it in there. So this is the other version, the driver. The, so the, apparently, I lose the ability to drag icons. Uh, so this is just 18 is in line. What the fuck is it? Anyways, you understand what I was saying. And then we compare this. Okay, so we now we lose the ability to move stuff for some reason, but we compare the driver. So we get the same sides because they are the same version. Okay, if we go to the details, um, this loses it. So maybe it's better that I show you by smaller because they lose the information so I'm gonna go there just you you can see both so windows system 32 drivers okay it's a fridge okay I don't know this file for some reason but the, uh, the size is the same, okay? It's modified on the same date, 1032. So the driver is the same. They not change the driver. What they do is they back it. Somehow. They back Windows. There is somewhere a line of Windows code that causes this to happen. So I'm going to restart it. So I'm going to install the date, uh, which is uh, not taking a lot of time. Uh, but this video is already long. So maybe. You gotta take some time. I don't think so. So I was just doing this video in a big. Uh, I should have streamed this on Twitch, but no one will watch me because, you know, no one, no me. So, but. Um, I don't know why I lose the ability to drag and drop on my desktop to be honest. So look, this is what it is. Uh, you know, sometimes it does happen. Uh, you need to go back here and just say, you know, you restart me. Ah. And still you don't do it. I don't know what the fuck I did. I did something and how Windows found how long it did. Here of the date to install it's the same day we install it on, the, on this machine. Task mm. manager. Way to do it after I click. This is one of the grid and right click on the desktop. So. Mm. Mm. Anyways, I will fix it. Probably already both fixed. Okay, so this virtual machine is doing some work before restarting. So again, we're waiting. You know, I'll to show you the back again. So, but for me, the video was handed. So we, we got the bizard. I think I'm gonna split the videos to be honest. I'm gonna split it to one version, it's gonna handle, there is this version, this is an addendum. 
here is the expanded version where we find some bug and winners that don't allow me to, me to move icons and we uh, update that So anyways, I don't know why Winners is waiting so fucking time for me to... to... So apparently, just uh, out of there, They probably get me some wallpaper, some interesting wallpaper for the Xbox, for the next Xbox One that will come out. Now, uh, I don't want to go into thinking which is the best because we don't know a lot of the PS5. So, but what I'm gonna say is the following: is that I'm not looking at it, but I'm just doing it because there is some wallpaper, and there is one wallpaper that I really liked because. I, The thing that isn't okay. Oh no, not this one. No. Nah, this one. Nah, this one. It's not what I was looking at. Next in this. Nah, this one. Next. Come on. This one is the interesting one. Come on, guys. Take a look at this. How amazing is this chip? Look at that. Look at all of these little integration memories. Here, cell memories. I use... I guess... You personalize in there, maybe? No, the shuffle. Okay. You then uh, one day. I think you can do shuffle day. So only if I know where they save it. I think I know where they save it. So I think it's in Windows. See Windows Web. Web wallpaper. Uh, nope. Where? Okay, so. Uh, somewhere in there, because I don't like these images going down. I should modify this. Anyways, it's not in the normal thing. But... If I can only uh, change this text up. Okay, maybe I can look around my hard disk and figure out what this is. But take a look at beautiful this is. Oh, it's reset. Okay. So, and we will verify which version we jump to. Uh, we're going to track back updates in, in the case that it is uh, not the last update. And we're gonna do a one hour video. You know, I think we're all gonna be one hour. No, we clean up now. 
<laughs> we started, now we need to clean do some clean up. Never seen it. We clean up we are clean up fifty percent. And we are thirty one gigabyte long. I'm wasting 31 gigabyte of my hard disk if I'm doing this video. And like they should just not have in these images, this will be the perfect image to have. Like I am have I have 4K display of images. But it's not the real images. This is com completely com taken from the cut tool they used to make here. This chip. Or for some of the fabrics, I don't know. Oh we're back to this. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So which version we we jump to? We have 264, okay, so... Oh, this bug now, okay, that, that is another set of bugs, something happened on all version of Windows. It's, yeah, I know it doesn't activate, I don't want to activate Windows, because I just needed to, no, I don't, I don't want to activate Windows. I really just, I just tell you that I don't want to you know, activate Windows, and you had opened the, 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 the menu to activate Windows. But apparently, this has written. No, it didn't do the run. Dump. But it's not configured. So I'm gonna also another do one thing. Just the other thing I wanna do is go, you know, go there. Then you can go into uh, our system perform. No. Our advanced. Start up and recovery. Automatic write. Automatic complete memory down. Save it on memory. No. Okay. He refuses to, to do. I know I need to restart Windows because that is something that requires starting Windows. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to restart Windows just to make sure that maybe we're going to get a, a, a dump of the. Because sort and we gotta try to debug it. If we don't, I think on the next video I will do the third video in the series. Okay. There is an unspecified error. Look, they they don't even know the error. Okay. So, what the fuck? I can close this. Oh, it didn't. And so there. Full screen. No full screen. Go full screen. Okay, last version of Windows. We redo the same thing as before. Open it. Run the setup. So this is the last version of Windows, the one they released today. Maybe they fixed the bug. Well no, I don't think they fixed it. But until the previous update, so 2019-041, that to 204, this was still a bug. Okay, just wanna. So the previous one, 204, was the previous one. The, the last one to try on that computer, that is 268, it was still a thing uh, that got the bug during the installation. So, but I don't wanna go full screen. Because otherwise we're gonna get disconnected when the VC that I'm gonna open this in the normal Windows. So here is the Windows we have. Unfortunately it's more because we because either we cannot do bigger windows than this for some reason. Now I don't understand why either we cannot do bigger window than I guess it's eight hundred by six hundred. Because it's the default uh, VGA resolution, I think. Yes. Uh, okay. Sorry for the noise. It was my bottle of water. Forty-nine minutes of recording. So I think I'm gonna split this video into two. The one gonna be the one first piece of. That's gonna be this one that is the interlude, and they're gonna be the finale where we try to debug this thing and figuring out where in Windows this crash happened. Now, for doing that, we need to install a debugger. Hmm. 
Shouldn't be a big of a problem. So I and I just moved this. Uh, by the way, I tried to do this thing as I said before in another disc. Was on another disc and it was too slow. Okay, I used to have a mechanical faster disc, but it died uh, last week. So I just have a, a an old five thousand for. 1400 RPM disc, and it didn't play well of having this virtual machine on the other disc. Let me tell you, it worked fine with uh, Linux, with CentOS, by the way. That is this, the thing I spent all yesterday to configure. Getting, as I said, I was following a guide, and the guide had an error in it, so I wasted my time, basically. That is what I wasted yesterday, but you know, in this period of coronavirus, no, yeah, you're right, I can move it. In this period, you have a lot of time to waste, so it's okay for you guys to waste some time on Linux. Uh, wasting time because, again, I'm a guy that was uh, wrong. But uh, eventually, when I corrected it, everything. I was I was getting what weird uh, weird permission access permission error. I didn't know what, what to do, and then I, I just then have the illumination. I could have done that. And in fact, when I did when I did it, everything worked fine. So here we are. Please, Windows, don't let me this 40 minutes video resulting in us losing wasting time because you fixed it in a bag. No, you didn't fix it. Okay, well, I'm fine. Okay, so it should write it down, but I don't think it's writing the down. And we still get the bug. Okay, so you see, this is exactly how. You miss it and completely fresh installation on Windows by installing a software. And I just want to verify if you write the memory dump. So if you write the memory dump, we're going to analyze it. But you are not writing the memory dump. I already know. So run it just to verify it, make sure it, we have what I said is right. By the way, uh, let's return in the meantime to, to analyzing this a little. How good is that? Look, so we know the memory they use H9CC999 and MBLTML. So did he decided to write it? It not. Windows. I don't see it, guys. They didn't write it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off this computer and uh, this was Alberto. See you in the next video of this CCAT.